now at five. Okay. All right. A dangerous game. As I was sitting in the living room watching television, I heard the shot. That could have easily turned deadly. <laughs> the teen who pulled the trigger advertising everything. That's being an idiot. Why would you go on Facebook to show that you're showing weapons? <laughs> It's a story you'll only see on News 5 tonight. A teenager arrested in Akron after police say he fired shots into his neighbor's home. And if you're thinking that's a pretty crazy thing to do, consider this. The teen actually live streamed the entire thing on Facebook. Only News 5's Bob Jones has the shocking video. And Bob, you also talked to the neighbor whose house was hit by gunfire. Well, Lee, she is grateful tonight that nobody was hurt in this case, but she is also very angry. She told me what a 15-year-old boy did was dangerous and idiotic, shooting guns out of a window and capturing all of it on social media. This happened around 9 o'clock last night on Bloomfield Avenue in Akron. Well, I'm going to shoot that <laughs> We're not naming or showing the face of the 15-year-old boy, but during several long and disturbing Facebook Live videos, he waves around a rifle and a 9mm handgun, points both of them towards an open window and fires. First, the rifle. <laughs> and then the handgun. Okay. Pulling that trigger right. knocks him off his feet. The teen seems to find the indiscriminate gunfire amusing and covers the window with a curtain. Might get tweaky. We can try again later. But it was no laughing matter to Tanya Watts. I heard the shot and I hopped up. Who was stunned by the sounds of bullets striking her home. And if you're just sitting in your home and you're watching television and you hear something like that, that would freak you out. It would scare you because I'm not used to hearing that. Tanya says the teen lives with his grandma and apparently was home alone. The fact the teen recorded the shooting on Facebook Live <laughs> is outrageous and callous to Tanya. It's awful. That they, is, that's being an idiot. The boy arrested on weapons charges. Police trying to figure out where he got those guns. The serial number will be recorded. They'll check for stolen. And if indeed it is stolen, They'll also be charged with receiving stolen property. It's scary. You can't be in your own home and relax. And Akron police got a search warrant, and during that time, the grandmother arrived home. The police were let inside the home. Inside, they found spent shell casings, those guns, and tonight they have a copy of that Facebook Live video. The juvenile is in the lockup tonight. Live in Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.